Hello friends. So today's video is going to be a list of what I think are some of the absolute best apps for readers. These are apps that I use on a regular basis. I genuinely really like all of these. And then also my husband is a reader as well. And so some of the apps that we're gonna be discussing are actually some of his favorites too. So we're gonna be alternating and taking turns. I'm gonna kick it off though, and I'm gonna start with Pango Books. I really like this app and I actually reached out to the company to see if they'd like to partner with me on today's video and they said yes. So a big thank you to them for working with me on this. Pango is an online marketplace essentially. So the way it works is you can buy and sell your books on this app and it's incredibly easy. If you're looking to purchase books, you can just search the book that you're looking for and it will have a lot of different books listed from various different sellers. And the sellers are the ones that can determine the price points. This is gonna ensure that you actually get the books that you're interested in, likely at a less expensive price than if you were to buy it from an online retailer. It's also really nice because for those of you that are book collectors or maybe there's a certain edition that you really want or you really want to get for someone you love, then you can find a lot of times these special editions. And these are things that are likely going to be much more difficult to find otherwise. If you're looking to sell some of your books and you know that maybe you don't have a local used bookstore nearby, or maybe you know you have a special edition, you're probably not gonna get as much for it, then Pango is the perfect place to sell it. I have both purchased books from them and sold books from them. And I was a little nervous with the selling process, but it could not have been easier. All you do is you take a picture of the barcode and then it has all the information for the book. You take pictures of the book so that way anybody who is looking to buy it can see what condition it's in. You can list the condition. You can list any additional details. You can have some hashtags to make it easier for people to find. And then once somebody has purchased it, Pango actually emails you the shipping label. So all you have to do is print out the shipping label. You can tape it onto the package and then you're good to go. Also, they have a message function. So if you need to contact the seller or if you need to contact the person who has purchased the book from you, you can do that. I actually had somebody ask me a question about one of the books and it was really easy to just give them an answer really fast. I also asked if there was any kind of coupon code I could get for all of you and they gave me this one. So if you use Elliot5 on your first purchase, you'll get $5 off. Thanks to Pango Books for working with me on today's video. Now switching over to another great app. Hello everyone, Sean here. I'm gonna be talking about three different apps for your reading enjoyment. The first two are library apps, and I'll talk about those first. First one is Libby. So Libby, you can download for your iPhone, iPad, Android, Kindle, all that good stuff. With Libby, it is through your local library. So mine would be the Phoenix Library they support Libby. So if I search on the library website, I can find books through Libby that way, or I can look through the actual app, search things by genre. I can search popular things. They usually have like, right now, I think there's a lot of Halloween stuff on there, horror stuff on there. I can look for audiobooks. I can look for eBooks and then just borrow one and download at my leisure. One thing about Libby is it does have a hold system, so you'll see that. It's just like a normal library where there's only so many copies available. So if there are only eight copies of something and eight people have it checked out, then you have to put a hold on it. It should receive an email or it should tell you in the app as well when it does become available. However, Hoopla is also through your library. Not all libraries support it. In my area, I think um, quite a few do. But with Hoopla, Hoopla is a little different. There is no hold system. There's not a limited amount of copies. If you want something, you can just borrow it. And the great thing about Hoopla is it has a fairly large selection of eBooks and audiobooks, although it might be possible Libby might have a little greater selection, but Hoopla, its main draw for me, aside from it, the instant uh, availability, main draw is going to be their comic selection. This would be something that I would advise you more use if you have a Kindle or iPad that's at least, you know, 10 inches ish, but you're going to get, it's going to be more fun if you have a larger iPad or larger device just because that way you can see the panels and it actually looks like a comic book. Hoopla has a huge, huge selection of digital comics that you can borrow. And again, if you have a device with a fairly large screen, you can read just the whole page at a time like you're reading a comic book or it does have a version 
where you can look at each panel individually if you do have a smaller screen. For me, it's definitely something that is very helpful, especially having advice with a large screen, iPad, that sort of thing. Next up, we have Libro FM. And then also I'm gonna mention, even though it's not an app, I'm going to mention alongside this bookshop.org as both of these do a lot to help indie bookstores. Libro FM is specifically an audiobook app. The price for Libro FM matches the price of Audible, Audible of course being through Amazon. And what's great about Libro FM is you can set it to a specific bookstore and then whenever you purchase an audiobook or if you have a subscription, it goes toward the bookstore, which I think is amazing. I use this all the time. The reading speed or the listening speed, I should say, you can set it to the exact same thing that you can do on Audible. So really it matches and competes with Audible fantastically on top of also having a great cause behind it. If you yourself are somebody who reviews books rather frequently, you can join their influencer program. And then every month they will have quite a lot of audiobooks that you can download without using any of your credits, without costing you any money. So if you're a booktuber, if you're a book blogger, just in general, if you're somebody who reviews books a lot, there are going to be great new releases every month that you can get the audiobooks for for free. And then again, even though it's not an app, but rather a website, I wanted to mention bookshop.org as well, because it does basically the same thing, except for purchasing physical copies of books. So similarly, you can set for your books to come from a specific bookstore. So maybe you don't have any indie bookstores near you. You can just purchase generally from bookshop.org and a percentage of their sales goes to bookstores, or you can set it to be purchased from a specific bookstore. For both my Libro FM account and bookshop.org, I have it set to support my local indie bookstore. And on top of that, bookshop.org often has various different sales to compete with other retailers like Amazon. So every now and then they'll have free shipping. And if you follow them on social media, they give you a heads up about a lot of different events, who they're going to be donating toward. They'll let you know about various different indie bookstores that you might want on your radar, that sort of thing. Next up, we have NetGalley. This one is very convenient if you yourself are somebody who reviews books a lot. I know I've mentioned NetGalley before and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it, but you might have thought that NetGalley is primarily only something that somebody with some kind of online presence really is gonna have access to, and that's not true. If you are somebody who reviews books, you should sign up for NetGalley. So if you don't know, NetGalley offers digital arcs. The way it works is you make an account and then you request whatever new books are coming out. You can put in a request for whatever your most anticipated release is, whatever any of your anticipated releases are, and then there will be an approval process. And if you get approved for ARCs, then you have access to reading books early. And then all you have to do in exchange is try to get a review up. You can put your reviews directly on NetGalley and there is a function where it can then put the review that you've written on NetGalley on various different sites. Every now and then NetGalley also has arcs for audiobooks, so that's also really convenient. And if you're really diligent or if there's a certain publisher that you find you're requesting arcs from quite a lot, sometimes you can get auto-approved, which means that anything you request from a certain publisher, you just immediately get approved for, which is very helpful and very convenient if you are somebody who reviews frequently. And the last app I have to share with you is the Shonen Jump app. So this would be for reading manga and specifically manga that appears in Shonen Jump. It is only $1.99 per month for the membership, which is absurdly, absurdly cheap. So rather than scouring the internet for scans of you know your favorite manga series you can just pay a dollar 99 as long as it is a part of shonen jump and again this would be something i'd recommend probably more for ipad just because then you have a larger screen so more for a tablet uh that way you can actually see the manga i don't believe shonen jump one thing a downside is they don't have that panel by panel view that hoopla would have so you are going to probably want to use it if you have a larger screen just because it's kind of hard to see on the iphone or android phone you get what i'm saying however if you do have an ipad again i keep saying ipad but a tablet the shonen jump app is really great you can start from the beginning of these very long series manga has as many people know quite long series so you could read 
all one piece for $1.99 per month, which is amazing. That's a great value if you like one piece. If you like one piece. But there are other things, all sorts of things. You can see the entire collection, something you like, you can save it to your favorites. Promise Neverland is on there. You can read the whole thing start to finish. Other big series like Dragon Ball, Bleach, Naruto. I am personally most excited to read Golden Kamui because it's really funny. Also, Claymore. Claymore is on there as well. Those are just a couple personal favorites, but definitely check those out. They're super fun. If you are just dipping your toe into manga or you haven't or you've been reading manga for a long time one dollar and 99 cents per month to get all that is a pretty fantastic value there are of course so many other fantastic apps for readers these are some of our favorites feel free to let me know what some of your favorites are and i'll either try to check them out maybe do another video like this in the future and just in general it's really helpful for anybody that comes to this video to see additional apps in the comments section but anyway a big thank you again to pango for working with me on today's video i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you later bye